So, very quickly, the next or the last patient is a 62-year-old uh, male. Uh, he was referred uh, to a gastroenterology unit due to diarrhea and weight loss. Had also at one episode of acute pancreatitis at the age of 20 due to alcohol, but there was no overconsumption of alcohol since. Uh, CT, sign, uh, CT scan revealed no malignancy, but also large calcifications in the pancreatic parenchyma, as well as irregular PD, and it was consistent with chronic pancreatitis. And now we're going to see an US evaluation. Hello, I'm here with Julio and the rest of this outstanding team here, <laughs> in, including, including our, our, our film guy. Great. So uh, we've been waiting so long that, you know, this guy had small stones, but now look, they're so huge. They were much smaller before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they grew. They grew while we were waiting. You know, uh, uh, we are past time, but if you could do a quick <laughs> Okay, okay, here we go. We're used to this. We're used to this. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, five, so I'll show you how to find the pancreas. seven minutes, then we will be okay. really... So the pan EOS is very simple. You find the liver here, okay? Look, my, 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 my arm is torqued to the left, so that my probe is facing the front where the liver is. Then you find the liver, it's the big black thing here. And then you look for the portal vein, which Can is in the middle the of the liver. Can we get the ultrasonic image? Uh, oh, you don't have it yet? No, now we have it. Okay, so liver, big black thing. Look for the portal vein. And look, I'm doing all the torquing with my left arm, just for Peter. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I'm torquing. Here's the portal vein coming out of the liver. And the portal vein leads to the pancreas. So if you keep torquing, you're going to see the portal vein. Here's the bile duct next to the portal vein. And I keep torquing, the portal vein is going to split into SMV and splenic vein, which is the confluence, which means the pancreas is right on top of it. So here's the pancreas. Here's these, he, actually this guy has nothing, no pancreas left. All he has is this huge, huge pancreatic stone. duct full of stones. These are huge, <laughs> huge stones. And so once you find the pancreatic duct, you can follow the pancreatic duct out to the tail, so it's torquing right. And then, in this case, if you want to keep following out to the tail, if I just gently tip up, I, I push the pancreas, the scope against the pancreas, and I just sort of slide. See, I'm just sliding now out towards the tail, and I'm all the way out to the tail now, coming all the way close, and, I'll and I'm starting to see, I should start to see the spleen. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so I'm really way out to the tail just by sliding with my left arm and my thumb down a little bit. So then I, I tell the fellows as an exercise to go left here and you'll find the kidney. And then if you get up to the edge of the kidney, pull back a little bit and go a bit left. Super arena. Then you'll see the adrenal, okay, which is yeah. useful for some things. Then if you keep going left, you're going to see the aorta. And then if you keep going left, see it's all the same movement, just keep going left, you'll see the celiac. And you'll see SMA, you'll see b below it down here. So just notice that if you have trouble finding the adrenal, if you find the celiac and torque right, you'll find the adrenal. The adrenal is right next to the celiac. So if you just keep following the celiac now, and it's more torquing left than pushing, it's going to split. It's going to go. It's going to go a bit down. Then it's going to split, and then the top, the top bifurcation. This one here is the splenic artery. And if you follow that, you're going to get to the pancreas. So you just, yeah, but you have to relax your up down to leave room for the pancreas to come in. There's the splenic artery and there's the splenic vein. So we're back to the pancreas. Okay. So it's like a circle. You start at the liver, you torque, you follow the vein, you get to the pancreas, then you torque out to the tail. Then you go tip up, you find the kidney, you go left, find the adrenal, find the aorta follow the celiac, and then you push in and you get back to the pancreas, okay? So there's two ways to find the pancreas, one from the portal vein and one from the, from the celiac here. And this is one station that's very comfortable for the patient because we're in the stomach, the, the, the scope is straight. And so, you, you know, you, and from this position, as I showed you before, we had, the, um, we had the bile duct here, it's hard to see now, but this is all the genuine of the pancreas and everything underneath the SMV here, theoretically, is the head of the pancreas. So the, the problem in this guy is that his pancreas is so calcified that all you see is just shadow. You can't really see the, the head of the pancreas. Because yes, I think it's one of the problems of uh, calcifying chronic pancreatitis. And one of the problems of advanced imaging 
like uh, elasto is the interpretation of calcifications in, that, in this kind of patients. So we take into account that if you're going to see this kind of patients with these huge stones and you want to use elasto, there's nothing harder than a stone. So it's, you are going to find something blue, but that blue doesn't mean anything. That means that you are just uh, evaluating a stone with the, the, the advanced imaging. So I'm but, going to go to the second stage, and I just go on to the pylorus. With the US, sometimes if you have trouble getting into the bulb, you get into the pylorus, and if you just give it some right on the right left, it pulls you into the, into the bulb. Then for the second station, which is the bulb station, you need to put your tip down and look at the apex, which is right just where the folds start, and put your face on it there. And, and people think that, you know, EUS is, is going in and tipping up. That's wrong. If you want to get deep enough into the bulb, you actually have to put your tip down a bit to get up against the, the apex of the bulb. Then torque left and look for the portal vein. So here's the portal vein right there. Okay. And then next to the portal vein, you look for the bile duct, which is right there. So this is how you, you start imaging the head of the pancreas. Find the portal vein, which is a pretty easy landmark. If you're not sure, you can put, put on the Doppler. I'm sure that's the portal vein. Okay, this is the bile duct. If you're not sure, put on the Doppler. I'm sure that's the bile duct. And so I'm going to follow the bile duct now and torque down and follow this down. And see, only with my left arm. No, no right arm. Following it down, and I'm getting pretty much down to the duodenal lumen. This is air in the duodenal lumen. Okay, so again, it's tip down, get in the apex, look for the port, torque left, find the portal vein, look for the bile duct next to it, then torque and follow the bile duct down, down, down to the papilla. Now, normally you could see the pancreatic duct. We are seeing the pancreatic duct, but it's just full stones. of stones yeah. going next to the bile duct down towards the papilla. So that's the second station. Then the last station, we go into D3, shorten up like in the RCP. Keep the scope close to your body like this. Tip max up. And you pull back till you feel some resistance. And here is the air in D3. This is going to be the pancreas over here. So I pull back. And then I start looking a bit left. When you see the aorta, the papilla is always about two centimeters from the aorta here. Okay? So here's, the, here's this calcified uncinate process. This is the uncinate process. Then I just start looking around. And hopefully I'll find some duct. So this is the pancreatic duct full of stones going to the papilla, but the bile duct should be just above it. So now I'm torquing a bit left, looking around for the bile duct, pulling back a bit. And here, I think this is the bile duct right here. Yes, okay. we can try to. Yeah. And this is how you get a long view of the bile duct with the linear scope. Okay. You can even get closer by using the, the optimizing the imaging. So we use the harmonic. We can really uh, define better the structures. So we can even see a little bit better the, the, the bile duct by using this, uh, optimizing a little bit the B-mode imaging. And, and now you can see the huge pancreatic duct. There's no stone here, but it's a very large duct uh, from here to here. So when you're in this position, you have two choices. You can follow the bile duct in a long view, and it'll, it'll come this way, then go up into the liver. Or you can follow the pancreatic duct from the papilla and around the genu and then into the body of the pancreas this way. And um, uh, this is a good way to also make sure you don't miss any lesions right over the confluence, which is usually over here somewhere, but I'm not seeing it too well. So I'm going to come back here. Again, here's the pancreatic duct coming out. Oh, by the way, here's, here's the Santorini going to the minor papilla. It's full of stones as well. Mm. This guy is really uh, in trouble. Um, uh, as here's his main pancreatic duct. And so I'm going to pull back as again, here's the bile duct. So if I fo follow the bile duct back, once I get to about this point, then it comes out of the screen and goes up to the hilum. But I'm going to try and follow the main pancreatic duct back around the genu. And here we go. We're coming around the genu with these huge stones. And now we're, I'm going to fall. Now the scope is, is just inside the pylorus. And then it's going to fall into the stomach. And then now we've just fallen into the stomach and we're back to where we started. This is the biggest stone I've ever seen in my life, I think. <laughs> this is, this is yeah, so, really impressive. Uh, wow. I think uh, basically you demonstrated, did a beautiful demonstration. And of course, this is a high-end uh, examination, difficult to, 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 to really see the anatomy proper. Uh, it, it, it requires skills. But at least we, we know that there are no apparent lesions, uh, focal lesions. Uh, do you agree? 
Yeah, I think in in um, I, I don't know, do you think Julio? If you what what may be more suspicious for a tumor in calcific pancreatitis yeah. is if you see a zone where there's no stones. Yeah. So you a zone mm. where this you know the the tumor is presumably pushing the stones away. The problem with with this is if you try and biopsy in there, you're sort of biopsying through stones. Yeah, yeah. And it can be quite true. hard to get uh, tissue. Okay, I I think due to lack of time, we need to. Um uh, no worries. Go further and and thank you so much. Beautiful thank you guys. demonstration. Thank you. And uh, Bye. thank you. Thank you. So